Hello viewers, this is here, Rotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, for the Nintendo DS. Previously, after arriving in Lodestar Harbor, we found out from a rustic person in the pub that a job needs doing down in Hay. So, we're heading south. Along the way, we'll run into a quartet of rough ruffians. Goodbye, ruffians. Ah, there is a sign here. Beware of beasts. South of here lies the village of Hay. Well, seems like we're on the right track. Now, some growl bears to take out. Goodbye, growl bears. Ah, here is hay. Almost missed it, it's so small. And here is the village of Hay. Nice peaceful music. By that there goddess, the fields are a proper mess again. If he goes on like this much longer, we'll be dying of starvation and hunger. That does not sound good. Here is the inn. Well, I'll be a customer. Not yet. We'll probably stay later. This here is a... You fancy folk could probably call it hay. Only what with that bisly wolf monster scatting the fields abroad, we ain't got much hay to gather. My old life has lived here, but I'm thinking we'll have to head off into them there hills before long. Oh dear. Nothing in that pot. Down here we can move this slab aside to reveal a stairway. There's a chest down here. With a kamikaze bracer. A boy and his dog, eh? Granny's been acting all funny lately. She only eats one little dollop of her food and then gives the rest to me. Says she's full, she does. I hope she ain't sick. Oh, she's probably trying to make sure that you don't starve. Arf! 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 I've been working like Billy O me old life, but things ain't getting any easier. Why was I born in this here dump, eh? But God has sent West and any of her smiles on me, that's for sure. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. However, we get a seed of strength from that pot. And a mini medal. We now have six of them. Coming along nicely. Let's just throw these things into the bag for now. What do you want? Pause over Bailiff Bales's place, if that's who you're after. You know, the place with them horses outside. The place 
place with horses outside, eh? Uh, some barrels are over here. Partially hidden. That one contains a leather hat. I can hardly muster the energisms to do anything these daisies. I'm so hungry. I put up that terror crow in me field to scare off that wicked devil monster, but he ain't been much good. A terror crow, eh? And we're famous for our terror crows here in A, you know. Let's put this useless leather hat into the bag. Madison examines the Scarecrow. He's never seen anything like it before in his life. Hopefully it doesn't hop down and start dancing around. This appears to be the item shop. Hello, village shop. I have iron claws, iron cuirass, iron helmet, and poison needles. Also, there's a church over here. I see this isn't quite a one-horse town. There are two horses here. Well, let's check out this place. So your idea is to pick up someone what'll help us at the pub in Lone Star Arbor. That's the plan, is it? That's it, Bailiff. Them get some proper feisty scrappers in that there pub. No, I don't like the idea. We can't go asking any old bay we comes across for ast assistance in and village matters. They'll just take the reward and run. Well, aren't you suspicious? I can't be wasting any more time on this cod's wallop. I've things to do. Anu, the blazes are you. Out me way. Well, you're just full of manners, aren't you? Oh, hello, me lovers. You remember me, don't you? From Lodestar Arbor. I want sure as you to be coming. But here you is. <laughs> I know how to pick them, don't I, eh? I best let Bailiff Bales do the explicating. He knows the ins and the outs of it. You young'uns is all the same. Art edit and reckless. You must be the bay has been asked to help us from the pub, won't it? I'm most obligated that you's come down here to A. Thank you kindly. We's all be praying to the goddess that you can help. So then, about this monster what's been causing all the palaver. He looks as part wolf and part lion, and he's blimmin' scary is what he is. We don't know where he lives or not, I'm afeard. All I can tell you is that he comes from the west. We's all seen him, the bisly beggar. 
So what we's asking you to do is to go off west and find his lair and give him a good lorumpin so he won't come back again. Alrighty. Anything up here? Nothing in there. Ah, a TNT ticket. According to what I've heard, there's even more scary monsters in other parts. Oh, I'm sure there are. At least our beast and hurt no people here yet. Oh, it hasn't hurt anybody, eh? Curious. A mini medal. Not bad. We now have seven. A magic water. Magic waters only restore about 30 MP. Not as good as what we can get from the casino, but not bad. This leads out into the horse pen. <laughs> <laughs> No talking horses, eh? No, Mr. Ed? Well, let us make it night. Aha! Uh -huh. That form looks familiar. I'll be back, innkeeper. The door appears to be locked from the other side. This doesn't really look like the place where they normally keep their doors locked. I guess I don't really need to rest. So, we'll go ahead and save here at the church. Now, after saving... We'll leave town and head off after the creature that has been attacking the village. There's a cave all the way over to the west. Just have to follow along the coast a bit. Some growl bears and a hooligan. There were also hooligans and above it all tower, I believe. Uh-oh, Sloth is starting to boogie. Whatever will we do? Champ the Fun Ghoul has reached level 10. Very good. Congratulations on your 10th level, Fun Ghoul. Champ the Fun Ghoul, I should say. And here is the cave. So, let's do some spelunking in the scary lair. Some prestidigitators and a Gordzilla. If we're lucky, we may find some metal slimes in here. Oh, trying to fizzle us, are you? Sorry, I'm not using magic.
What is this shiny? That skeleton had a mini metal. We now have eight. Some pocus poppets, a paralakeet, and a metal slime knight appear. That's not going to do you much good, Pocus Poppets. Farewell. And another level for Adams, the Rotten Apple. He reaches level 12. And McHeel the Heel Slime reaches level 10. And it learns to squelch spell. Congratulations on level 12, Adams. And congratulations to you, McKeel, on level 10. So, we have someone else who can counteract poison. There's a treasure chest to the southwest here, and it contains a stone axe. That's not terribly valuable. Oh well. Some ska some sasquashes appear. That breath didn't do a whole lot, sloth. Goodbye, sasquashes. And sloth reaches level six. Increasing its wisdom a notch. Sloth the Powie Yowie's wisdom is now at 16. Just four more wisdom points to go before it will respond reliably in battle. Down here we'll find B2. And you can fall off those edges there, so be careful. Now we have a couple of pokes people. Goodbye, pokes people. Over here is a soldier. Yeah! Hey, careful there. Sorry to have startled you. Er. Yeah! Don't jump into the water. D dear goddess, you can't creep up on people like that. There's an almighty beast that lives in this cave, you know. I'd be careful if I were you. An almighty beast, you say? Let's look for it. First, let's open this chest to get an iron cuirass. Let's see if anyone can use it. I don't think so. So let's put it into the bag. And we barely take a step before we get attacked by some wisps, wisps of smoke. Well, not attacked per se. More like we snuck up on them. Which is nice. Goodbye, wisps of smoke. To the north, we'll find the stairway to the previous level. Ah, uh, some more pokes people. Who are trying to poke us with their pokers. 
In the next episode, we'll try to get to the bottom of this scary lair and scare off that monster. This is Heyrotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. 